Welcome back. All right, so some news of the day for all you fine people for your end of the week for Friday. Um, and there are some tryouts. So just as like a quick little explainer at the start, uh, your professional tryout, your PTO that you're going to hear a lot about over the next couple of weeks, veteran players coming in where teams are saying, all right, well, we'll give you a tryout. They're not actually on a contract for this coming season. They are trying to earn themselves a contract for this coming season. I, I want to say with tryouts, 20 to 25% of them seem to end up with a contract from the team that brought these guys in for tryouts. There's always some disappointment from fans that you'll see a big name and you'll go, hey, you know, is he going to end up with our, with our team? And then they just don't end up making it. But one player doesn't have to worry about a tryout is Sam Gagne. Uh, he gets a contract from the Winnipeg Jets worth league minimum $750,000 US this season. Gagne, a good bottom six forward at this point in his career. I think he showed in Detroit he can still play. Last year he showed in Detroit he could do that. So Gagne moves on to the Jets. It, this is not going to be something that necessarily moves the needle for the Jets in terms of their playoff chances. It doesn't hurt them though. And it's a contract that carries no risk. So all the best to Gagne. All the best to the Jets. Here's, hoping, here's to hoping that the Jets have a bounce back season this year. And uh, maybe with Gagne, maybe he can get to that 10 plus goal mark. And, and just have a really solid season. I'd be very happy for Gagne to get there. Uh, one report that's out there with uh, Kirby Doc, and there are apparently a few different ways this could go. Kirby Doc, of course, a restricted free agent. Uh, the Montreal Canadiens discussing a four-year contract with Doc in the $3.5 million per season range, which there's some risk to that. Kirby Doc, the last couple years, not playing as well as he had previously. Um, initially, when he hit the league, he looked pretty darn good, and 2019-2020, he played well. Uh, but since then, 2020-2021, plus 2021-2022, totals a bit down, and this past season was kind of a miserable one for him. So he's looking for a bounce back, and a four-year contract would take him to still being a restricted free agent by a season. So he would not be an unrestricted free agent at the end of it. And if it's three and a half million, if he plays as well as we know he can, that contract looks like a huge bargain. And if he has his struggles, well, then you just, you figure it out from there, right? So if Engel's report is correct, we'll have a debate at some other time, I would think, on whether or not he's overpaid or underpaid. And that is a, a discussion that would then go on throughout the season at certain points and show up again in the offseason, because that's how contracts work. Uh, but yeah, all the best to Doc, and we'll see how much money he makes over the next four years. Uh, the World Cup of Hockey. So I've talked about this before. For it to really be a World Cup, it feels like you need to have qualifiers. For it to be a real World Cup, it can't just be a National Hockey League tournament. The National Hockey League likes the idea of having a 17-day tournament where all the money is theirs, but they've presented their initial plans for that 17-day World Cup in 2024 to the IIHF, the International Ice Hockey Federation. And so this is, this is good, really, honestly. They want to play games both in Europe and in North America, and so we'll see how it turns out. I mean, obviously... In order for this to really and truly be a World Cup, you have to include players from European leagues. And so the those European leagues, did they shut down for that period? Does this become truly a global um, tournament? Which I think would be great. Really, honestly, I think it would be great. Uh, I really thought that the last World Cup in 2016 was... I mean, it, it would have been better, I thought, without Team North America and Team Europe. Even though Team Europe made it to the final and Team North America had all these really good star players, uh, all the young players were on Team North America. The reality was it was kind of a roundabout way to make sure Anze Kopitar got in with Team Europe, where it was a, an amalgamation of countries that didn't necessarily warrant having a full roster uh, and a, 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 their nation represented in the tournament. And then with Team North America, it was a way to have two Team USAs, or at least one and a half Team USAs, one and a half team Canada's and other than team North America having a really nice jersey which oddly enough it is the only one from that world cup I didn't end up getting and I I don't know it just it was one that I'm like yeah that's a nice jersey but when would I wear it so uh Europe sure North America eh. but anyways uh yeah the world cup they're they're trying to bring this back they're trying to work with the double IHF you have to have qualifiers. To me, you have to. You have to have like certain countries that are that are there that don't have to go through the qualifying process. But they want this to feature at least eight or at least eight countries. Honestly, eight countries is is solid. But ten countries, I think, would be better. Uh, have that round robin where you have four games and then have your medal round. 
But we'll see how this turns out. We'll see what the double IHF comes back with and whether or not this becomes really and truly a World Cup or if it ends up being an NHL All-Star Break Cup kind of situation, which is fine if that's what they want to do and if that's what they end up doing, I'll report on it because what else am I going to do? But we'll see what they actually end up doing. Um, the, the World Cup is a good idea. It'll never be as epic as what we have coming up with soccer or for Europeans watching football. Uh, and, and so... Yeah, uh, it, it's going to be a lot of fun watching as much of that World Cup as I, I can because it's going to be on during hockey season because it's too hot to play soccer in Qatar. I, it's just it's one of those things that really kind of drives me nuts. Now, in other international hockey news, uh, the Women's World Tur World uh, Tournament, I think this was a couple days ago this took place, but first time I've done a, a news video like this in a bit. Uh, Hillary Knight is now the all-time points leader at the World Championships, the Women's World Championships. So all the best tonight on that. Uh, Hillary Knight might be arguably, and it's I would say it's between her, Haley Wickenheiser, and a few others, might be arguably the best women's hockey player that, that we've had. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we'll see how many points she ends up with by the end of the tournament. Uh, but yeah, it's been a it's been a fun tournament thus far, and so we'll see whether or not Canada wins, whether or not USA wins, or maybe the Czechs, who scored a shocking upset over Finland, end up you know, pulling off another upset and, and maybe getting themselves a medal. Being in the semifinals is a win for Czechia, though, in, in just in general, right? So getting to the professional tryouts. There are three that were announced over the last 24 hours. Uh, Jimmy VC has signed a tryout with the New York Rangers. VC has played with the Rangers before. It's interesting because at the time this channel was getting started six years ago, yeah, there was a big bidding war on VC, right? Everybody wanted VC who was coming out of college and free agent and all that. And just showing that those players coming out of college that are free agents, uh, teams really, really want that because it's a cheap contract and they envision this player as being uh, not necessarily the savior for the team, but they see him as being like this really important player. And uh, that hype can get a little bit out of control, as I think it did with VC. Uh, but yeah, so he signs a tryout with the Rangers where he's played before. Uh, James Neal has signed a tryout with the Columbus Blue Jackets. This is an interesting one. I, I don't know that Neil necessarily makes it. It feels like he's kind of played his way out of the league. However, we do see guys with tryouts that end up getting contracts. Maybe Neil's another guy who's going to do that. And a player that I like, Tyler Pitlick, has signed a tryout with the St. Louis Blues. Pitlick is a solid bottom six guy. I'm mildly surprised that Montreal didn't keep him. Uh, Rem Pitlick is still in Montreal, so I'm kind of surprised that Tyler didn't end up uh, re-signing in Montreal because why not keep them together but anyways uh, we'll see whether or not Pitlick makes the roster but look for other guys to get tryouts I'm, I'm expecting one I, I would think Subban that's probably where it's going to end up uh, I know there's been speculation about certain free agents and teams waiting to get cap space to bring guys in but we are at the point in time where we're less than two weeks from training camp uh, there are going to be players who just get the tryout and that might be what it is. For instance, with Pitt, like maybe the Blues are like, look, we'd love to give you a contract. We can't right now. We'll give you a tryout. Come to camp. We'll move some money out. And then we can give you a contract. I'm just using that as an example. I'm not saying that's what happened. But uh, we, we do see situations where teams want players they, they can't necessarily make work under the cap. And so they have to do other work. And that, may be, that might be where we're at. But look for other tryouts. Uh, let me know in your let me know in the comments section below which player you think gets the tryout next, and who which team you think should be signing guys to tryouts because they need better players. That kind of thing, right? All of that non divisive talk that we see every day. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. For all your support, I will talk to you again soon.